Hi, my name's Adam, and I'm going to review the LG LFX3 1945 ST-07 refrigerator. And this thing is a, it's a French door refrigerator with a bottom freezer. And it has a lot of cool features. I'm going to start off with the exterior and actually... The very first thing I'm going to say is you cannot put magnets on the front of this. You can only put it on the side. So, Disney, sue me. Just kidding. <laughs> Please don't sue me. <laughs> um, anyway, let's come look at the features on the front here. We have an ice dispenser, which actually I'm going to show you guys the ice dispenser. Hold on. Let me get a cup out. Because it doesn't make any sense to talk about this but not show it, right? So we have an ice dispenser. We have two options. We have cubed ice. So regular cubes, or just press it like this twice, so because it it's, goes into standby mode. Now we have crushed ice. So if you want to make like a kind of like a mixed drink or something, it'll crush it up for you. Like that, that's kind of a cool feature. And then next we have our refrigerator temperature. So we can set this. I'll show you guys the range. Hopefully you can see the numbers. So we have ours set to 35 because that's considered a safe temperature by health departments. And then uh, freezer, we can set that a huge range. We have it on the highest for uh, health or for food safety purposes, but we have an eight degree to like, what's that, what's negative, was that negative eight, I think? No, negative six, okay, so eight degrees Fahrenheit to negative six degrees, so I'm gonna put it back to four, how we had it. And then next up we have, it's a, uh, it is called, it's hard to see this lettering, because it's like black text on a gray, but it's fresh air filter, and we can either have it on all the time or on automatic. And right now it's actually saying, please replace me. Next up is the Ice Plus. We have it on normal, but if you want your ice to be like colder, I think it also might allow you to have more ice. Um, you can do that as well, but it, it does eat up more energy. We never had a problem with ice, so we keep it on the normal setting. Next thing, we have a light setting. For the water filter, if you look, the lamp turns on. And you so you can either keep it on permanently or just on when you get ice or water. And then finally, we have the alarm, which I'll show you. Oh, you know what? I didn't get water, so I'll just get here. Come back. So again, watch the light. The light turns on. And the cool feature about that, you see how narrow that stream is? That's so that you can put a water bottle up to this and so you hold the water bottle and then just press this button or you can, the problem with plastic and thin plastic is it, it won't, it, it might not be hard enough to press, but so I'll, I'll just put the bottle up to here and press that in. And uh, I believe it's filtered. I may be wrong on that, but it does taste good. So I think it is filtered. Okay, so we're done with the exterior features. Except I do want to show you guys this cool feature. So if, you, if you're like most people, sometimes you'll leave the refrigerator door open by accident. Um, so what you're going to see, it's a 60 second alarm that goes off if you accidentally leave your doors open or if you purposely leave them open, which actually becomes a problem when you're putting groceries in. So you can disable the alarm. And also, um, before I forget, actually you, you don't need this. It, just trust me. It's an alarm. Before I forget, there's another cool feature. If you have kids who like to come up you know, if you got like grandkids or if you have kids of your own, you can actually lock this. So if I press this and hold it, see, see how that's now? You can, it's, it's that lock looking thing. Now, if you press water, it doesn't come out. If you press ice, it doesn't come out. So that's cool. Again, if you have kids who like to mess around and, and make a mess, they can't make a mess here if you got the lock on and you just got to hold that button in until it turns off. And I'll, that's about it for the exterior features. Um, now, the first cool thing I'll show you, if you come over here, 
So this is the first door, which you press in with your thumb, open it up so that you can access you know, the normal stuff. So we have beer, soda cans, um, water bottles usually in here, milk, coffee creamer, all kinds of stuff. So you don't have to open the entire, you know, both doors up. Very cool feature and um, one that's used a lot. Now we're gonna go into the entire refrigerator itself. So again, it's French doors. It opens really wide. And um, the first thing, I'll, again, this is like the reverse of the front door. Um, sometimes I hit this, like when, when we close the door, we'll hit this by accident or with our elbow. So it's kind of a pain in the butt, but at least we have that so we don't have to close this and open up that up. So we have both ways of opening it. So we have racks for ketchup, mustard, uh, salad dressing, all that. Um, there's a bar for that. Um, and, it, and it's plastic, if you can't see that. It is plastic, so it catches any liquids that might come out. So that's cool. And I do believe these come out of here. Let me double check on that though, before I say that for sure. I do believe these come out so you can clean them. Or maybe, maybe they don't. Um, no, I don't think these come out. Okay, so they don't come out, but they are there to catch any liquids that will come out, which is cool. And it looks like you can actually access this. For, and there's the alarm, like I said. So let me turn that off so it's, that stops doing that. Uh, am I holding the right button? Okay, so press it to turn the alarm off. Hold it to... Uh, I forget that sometimes. I'm in the middle of trying to tell you guys. Okay, so for, um, very first feature you might, you might realize. Get in there, please. LED lights on, so these lights will last for the life of this refrigerator. These bulbs will never burn out. You won't have to worry about replacing them. You know, I mean, the last, probably until you die, if you had the refrigerator that long. I mean, it's really, LEDs will last, especially ones in a refrigerator, which is awesome. So next up, we have our shelves, which you can move up and down on all the different rack layers. So it's, it's adjustable. We have it really high right now, but these can come out, um, I believe. And, um, but we have, you know, the big drinks here, normal food here, the, the, the fresh filters in the back, if you, if you want to look at that. So that's where you put like the arm and hammer and stuff. Um, LG does give you two filters. And then we have our fruit and vegetable containers. You slide it here, if you can see that. Fruit, if it's fruit. Vegetable, if it's vegetable. So that just closes it up or gives it air. So actually we, ha we had it on the vegetable side even though we had fruit in there. So I just flipped it. And then vegetable side, again, um, fresh freshness levels, and then a bunch of different things. Um, we have on here, it's a, it says spill protector. So if it spills, it only comes up to the edge, which we have had milk spill, and that's a nice little feature, which it's not really a brand new feature, but it, it really does help. And then this is where we put all the cheese and the ketchup packets and just random stuff. So this is a cool little tray, um, tray drawer. And then next up, um, I guess I'll show you guys the freezer. So you can either open it up, Open it up this way. I don't like opening up while the refrigerator is open because it's a little bit harder to see because there's actually lights on the bottom of these doors, as you can see. See that? Which is pretty cool. Now I'm going to close these up. Um, only issue I have with this, I don't like to close this door first because it does that. I like to close the left door first and then that. It just seems like a nicer close. So again, we have lights underneath where the doors are. And this just comes out and you can slide, you can open this up so it's two layers. And then we have a good amount of space underneath. And the food definitely stays cold. I definitely haven't, have never had an issue with the food being, in, in fact, it's probably, it's certainly colder than the old refrigerator and the old freezer. Um, and what I, the other thing that's good about this whole system is how quiet it is. The motor on it is barely perceptible, even when 
everything's off. You know, it's it's there, but it's not like a con. As you guys could hear, I mean, it's very quiet. So it it looks nice, stainless steel. You know, goes with pretty much any kitchen style. Um, you know, it's not black. It's not the uh, a tan or teal or whatever. Not teal. Um, tan look of the old refrigerators. Stainless steel goes with anything. So that that's nice. And um, overall, we we haven't had any issues with this. We have this refrigerator and freezer for about a year now, and um, I don't have any complaints. It's very nice. I think it costs about twenty four hundred dollars, and I believe it was on sale. But you know, you should look for sales anyway. <laughs> um, three thousand dollars, I think, is the MSRP on this, and I recommend it absolutely. Great refrigerator, great great freezer. No problems. Um, could it be a little bit bigger? Maybe, but um, you know, for this space, that's you know, it fits right in this kitchen space perfectly. So, again, thanks for watching the video. My name's Adam. After we wrapped recording, I realized I left out two features. Uh, one is this, the ice box, which is inside the door here, and controls everything this is the on off switch hopefully you got well i gotta adjust my camera hold on all right on off switch so i'll put that on and then that's the ice maker and you can pull this out but because i only have one hand to pull it out um i'm not gonna do it because i just see that hitting the floor um because i'm holding the camera and uh so it pretty much gives you the instructions here caution and then there's instructions here as well um, and, and safety notices the other feature let me lock this up actually yeah the instructions are open are right there and I just never used it <laughs> the other feature actually two more so I showed you guys this before but I didn't open it up so you have three, three shell, or one, two, and then the third one is this tiny one right here. So yeah, that's um, it's pretty awesome. And that's about it. I, I think I said that it could be bigger. I guess it could be bigger, but this is a huge refrigerator. Don't get me wrong, huge refrigerator. Here, I'll go vertical. <laughs> and this is what it looks like when my white balance is actually correct. Just so you guys don't think that it's orange. It's definitely stainless steel. 